Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. It's been a long time. The sun's out, which is kind of crazy. It's been about three weeks since I've last seen the sun. It's been about two since it's last stopped raining. So as per usual, the garage is still a mess. Um, I couldn't move anything out because it was raining to be able to move the truck in so I could work on it. So, now that the sun's out, we're going to be working on the truck. So with all that stuff in there, um, we're going to start it off easy today. And we're going to be doing these Cali Rays center molly panels, center console molly panels. It's pretty sick. They just, uh, they just go in right here. I'm going to grab one. Let me show you guys. So, you're just going to take this. And then it matches up right about yay. Follows all the lines and everything. Should be able to just mount whatever you want. There's a couple things that I do want to move up here. Um, first of all, this. This is my uh, first aid kit. I'll show you guys. So normally, this is where my first aid kit would sit. Right behind here. Just dangling a little bit. But ever since we've had a kid, um, that doesn't work because this is where the car seat is usually and it pretty much pushes this seat all the way forward so the idea is i'm gonna take this and stash it somewhere here it's gonna be kind of annoying for whoever's sitting here to have to deal with this but this is a much better placement and i like it there easier to get to so this is everything you're gonna get in the molly kit it's gonna be your driver passenger side molly panels a little jig, some nuts and washers, some spacers, and uh, some of these special, I don't, know, I don't know what you would call them, nuts, spacers, push things. I don't know what you call those, but they'll come in the kit. So this is everything you're gonna need to install a drill, a half inch wrench. This is an 11 socket with the corresponding ratchet. This is a five, 32nd allen wrench i believe and you need a 3 8 drill bit uh, this other stuff is kind of extra just to help the drill get in easier it's just a little punch and then a smaller drill bit this all should be fairly easy fairly straightforward uh without further ado let's just get into it because i mentioned this but get yourself a marker this is pretty self-explanatory you're just gonna get your molly panel line it up it all follows the grooves. Super easy. Just wanna line it all up. And then you're gonna to wanna to mark all your holes. They're gonna be the smaller ones. So there's one here, one here, and then one back here. Just mark them up really quick. And then once you've marked them up, you should be good to go to start punching and drilling. So I'm just gonna go through and center punch all these holes one time for the one time. So really, all you wanna do is get this part. That little piece right there. That's as far as you wanna drill into. You don't really wanna drill any further than that. It's really not that hard. Don't go too far into that. You just wanna hit that plastic piece. From here, you're just gonna take these little brass ones and push them in. Should go bit pretty easily in. Push them all the way in. Never easy for me. I did found out that, I don't know if it's just with my ear or the newer years, um, there's a little bit of plastic behind this. So you have to go a little bit deeper on this one. I don't think it really does anything. It's just an extra plastic piece. So just go straight through that other plastic piece behind here. And you should be golden. Just push them all in and we'll get to the next step. So after you put all those anchors in, you're gonna take your half inch wrench, your 11 with ratchet and a little jig they give you. You're gonna take this piece, put it over and then push this through and then hand time this all the way down. So from here, you're gonna take your half inch, throw this on top. And then you're gonna take your ratchet and then screw down. You're basically, all you're doing is expanding that little 
piece on the inside. Then you want to go until that little brass piece doesn't pull out. Like that. Then back it out and then we rinse and repeat for all the other ones. Cool. So all these are in place now, not going anywhere. Now let's get to putting the actual panel on. From here, you're just gonna take your spacers. There's two short ones, one long one. The one in the back and the one up top right here on the right side are gonna be short spacers. The one on the bottom is gonna be a longer spacer. So you're just gonna take your panel, take one of these, thread that in. Throw the spacer, this is a short one, up behind. And then, just gonna hand tie that in. And then from here, take the other ones. Just do the same thing. Behind, throw that in. And then throw it into the hole. Oh, also, by the way, you want the panel that's inwards. So it's kinked a little bit. So you want the panel that's kinked inwards towards the inside of your truck. So now you're just gonna take your Allen wrench and then tie all these down. So from here, after you've done this side, you're just gonna rinse repeat for the other side. Super easy to install. I'll get back to you guys in a second when I've done that. So, just finished the install, took under 30 minutes and that's because I'm doing all this stuff too, like taking pictures and video. But, if you're doing it by yourself, 100% 15 minute job. Should be super easy. I moved the first aid kit up to the front and then just hung some glasses here to show you guys what you can put. Um, fairly easy, very easy. Lots more storage. I do feel kind of bad for my passenger because this area is kind of getting cluttered up. Um, let's see. Ideally, I'd want to mount this up here somewhere on another molly panel but Meso Customs is always sold out and I've been trying to buy that panel like it was across the top but they're always sold out so just gotta wait for it I guess this is where this is gonna live um, whoever's in this passenger seat just has to deal with it <laughs> and then over here on the driver's side I just to show you guys so I'm not carrying a banana usually but if you want to this is what this whole area is looking like this is just a t-rex extra t-rex banana holster that i have and their sidecar i believe i don't remember what it's called but that mounts in there pretty perfectly pretty seamlessly if you wanted to mount a banana holster so that's about it guys really quick install less than 30 minutes Hope you guys liked it. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more of this stuff, make sure to hit that subscription button because we're going to be doing a lot more installs and we're going to be doing some more trail stuff soon. I know we have a trip planned. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.